The first night of Hanukkah is underway in Israel as the nation marks two months since the October 7th Hamas attack. Israeli forces struck the southern Gaza town of Rafah twice overnight. United Nations officials say that there are now no safe places for civilians to move to in Gaza. CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Nancy Cordes joins us now. Nancy, tell us what is President Biden trying to do to, tr to get the aid bill for Ukraine and Israel passed after it failed in the Senate? Well, he is trying to use the stick right now. We'll see if he uses the carrot later. For now, he is castigating congressional Republicans, accusing them of putting Ukraine at risk of losing this war, basically arguing that, uh, that their decision to delay passage of funding to Ukraine amounts to a holiday gift for Vladimir Putin and warning that Putin might be emboldened to attack NATO countries in the future. But what uh, Republicans in the Senate are saying is that they are holding out for negotiations, potentially with the White House itself, over border security. They say that the talks that have been taking place in the Senate between a bipartisan group of Republicans and Democrats uh, aren't uh, getting there and that they think should, this should be kicked up a level, essentially, uh, to negotiations directly with the White House. The president said yesterday that he is open to some policy changes on border security, but right. he didn't give a lot of specifics about what he would actually do. And that's really the question on that, because we heard him say that he's willing to make those compromises. Um, are you hearing anything from the White House about what what they're willing to put forward? Not really. And, and actually, that's often a sign that they are gearing up for a negotiation because they don't want to get locked into anything. Uh, they want to be open to a give and take. In the past, the president has shown some openness to change the humanitarian parole process uh, to essentially shrink the number of people who would be eligible. But Republicans want to go much further than the White House or congressional Democrats. Same goes with asylum policy. That's also something that Republicans want to change to make it harder for individuals to uh, apply for uh, or achieve asylum. And uh, the president yesterday called their proposal extreme. So there's a, a lot of distance between the White House and Republicans right now. And the White House may be weighing whether it's even possible to reach some kind of agreement before they start wading into negotiations with Republicans. And Nancy, the fourth Republican presidential debate was last night without the front runner. President Biden's campaign has not committed to doing any debates in 2024. Is it a possibility that we might have a presidential election without presidential debates? Well, I think the, the general election is, uh, is a, a whole different enchilada, and we'll see what happens there. But as far as the Democratic primaries are concerned, yes, I don't think that the Biden campaign feels any need at this point to engage uh, the other Democratic candidates in a debate, especially when those candidates, uh, Dean Phillips, Congressman of Minnesota, or Marianne Williamson, the spiritual guru, are lagging 60, 70 points behind President Biden in the polls. The view of the Biden campaign is that uh, he is the, the clear front runner. He is the leader of the party. And I don't think they'll feel any need to debate uh, with those candidates and give them any extra oxygen unless those polls change dramatically. All right, Nancy Cordes, thank you. You're welcome.